A jet engine is a reaction engine that discharges a fast-moving jet which generates thrust by jet propulsion in accordance with Newton's laws of motion. This broad definition of jet engine includes turbojets, turbofans, rockets, ramjets and pulse jets. In general, most jet engines are internal combustion engines, but non-combusting forms also exist. In common, the term jet engine loosely refers to an internal combustion air breathing jet engine. These typically consist of an engine with a rotary air compressor powered by a turbine with the leftover power providing thrust via a propelling nozzle. These types of jet engines are primarily used by jet aircraft for long distance travel. Early jet aircraft used turbojet engines which were relatively inefficient for subsonic flight. Modern subsonic jet aircraft usually use high bypass turbofan engines which offer high speed with fuel efficiency comparable to piston and propeller aero engines. Jet engines are usually used as aircraft engines for jet aircraft. They are also used for cruise missiles and unmanned aerial vehicles. In the form of rocket engines, they are used for fireworks, model rocketry, space flight and military missiles. Jet engines have also been used to propel high-speed cars, particularly drag racers, with the all-time record held by a rocket car. A turbofan-powered car currently holds the land speed record. Jet engine designs are frequently modified for non-aircraft applications as industrial gas turbines. These are used in electrical power generation for powering water, natural gas or oil pumps and providing propulsion for ships and locomotives. Industrial gas turbines can create up to 50,000 shaft horsepower. Many of these engines are derived from older military turbojets such as the Pratt and Whitney J57 and J75 models. There is also a derivative of the Pratt and Whitney JT8D low bypass turbofan that creates up to 35,000 horsepower. There are a large number of different types of jet engines, all of which achieve forward thrust from the principle of jet propulsion. The first one is turbojet. A turbojet engine is a gas turbine engine that works by compressing air with an inlet and a compressor, mixing fuel with the compressed air, burning the mixture in the combustor and then passing the hot high pressure air through a turbine and a nozzle. The compressor is powered by the turbine which extracts energy from the expanding gas passing through it. The engine converts internal energy in the fuel to kinetic energy in the exhaust producing thrust. All the air ingested by the inlet is passed through the compressor, combustor and turbine. Second type is turbofan. A turbofan engine is a gas turbine engine that is very similar to a turbojet. Like a turbojet, it uses the gas generator core to convert internal energy in fuel to kinetic energy in the exhaust. Turbofans differ from turbojets in that they have an additional component, a fan. Like the compressor, the fan is powered by the turbine section of the engine. Unlike the turbojet, some of the flow accelerated by the fan bypasses the gas generator core of the engine and is exhausted through a nozzle. The bypassed flow is at lower velocities but a higher mass, making thrust produced by the fan more efficient than thrust produced by the core. Turbofans are generally more efficient than turbojets at subsonic speed but they have a larger frontal area which generate more drag. There are two general types of turbofan engines that is low bypass and high bypass. Low bypass turbofans have a bypass ratio of around 2 ratio 1 or less, meaning that for each kilogram of air that passes through the core of the engine, 2 kilograms or less of air bypass the core. Low bypass turbofans often used a mixed exhaust nozzle meaning that the bypassed flow and the core flow exit from the same nozzle. High bi bypass nozzle have larger bypass ratios sometime on the order of 5 ratio 1 or 6 ratio 1. 
these turbofans can produce much more thrust than low bypass turbofans or turbojets because of the larger mass of air that then the fan can accelerate and are often more fuel efficient than low bypass turbofans or turbojets third type is turboprop turboprop engines are jet engine derivatives still gas turbines that extract work from the hot exhaust jet to turn a rotating shaft which is then used to produce thrust by the some other means while not strictly jet engines in that they rely on an auxiliary mechanism to produce thrust turboprops are very similar to other turbine based jet engines and are often described as such in turboprop engines a portion of the engine's thrust is produced by spinning a propeller rather than relying solely on high speed jet exhaust as their jet thrust is augmented by a propeller turboprops are occasionally referred to as type of hybrid jet engine while many turboprop generate the majority of their thrust with the propeller the hot jet exhaust is an important design point and maximum thrust is obtained by matching thrust contribution of the propeller to the hot jet turboprops generally have better performance than turbojets or turbofans at low speeds where propeller efficiency is high but become increasingly noisy and inefficient at high speeds fourth type is turboshaft turboshaft engines are very similar to turboprops differing in that nearly all energy in the exhaust is extracted to spin the rotating shaft which is used to power machinery rather than a propeller they therefore generate little to no jet thrust and are often used to power helicopter components of a jet engine and their function air intakes the air intakes can be designed to be the part of the fuselage of the aircraft its function is to suck the air from the atmosphere there are basically two types that is subsonic inlet and supersonic inlet compressor axial compressor rely on spinning blades that have aerofoil section similar to airplane wings as with airplane wings in some conditions the blades can stall if this happens the air flow around the stalled compressor can reverse directions violently each design of a compressor has an associated operating map of airfoil versus rotational speed for characteristics peculiar to that type at a given throttle condition the compressor operates somewhere along the steady state running line Unfortunately this operating line is displaced during transient many compressor are fitted with anti stall system in the form of bleed bands or variable geometry stators to decrease the likelihood of surge another method is to split the compressor into two or more units operating on separate concentric shafts another design concentration is the average stage loading this can be kept at a sensible level either by increasing the number of compression stage more weight or cost or the mean blade speed more blade or disc stress although large flow compressor are usually all axial the rear stages on smaller units are too small to be robust consequently these stages are often replaced by a single centrifugal unit very small flow compressor often employ two centrifugal compressor connected in series although in isolation centrifugal compressor are capable of running at quite high pressure ratios impeller stress consideration limit the pressure ratio that can be employed in high overall pressure into engine cycles increasing overall pressure ratio implies raising the high pressure compressor exit temperature this implies a higher high pressure shaft speed to maintain the datum blade tip mac number on the rear compressor stage stress consideration however may limit the shaft speed increase causing the original compressor to throttle back aerodynamically to a lower pressure ratio than datum turbines because a turbine expands from the high to low pressure there is no such things as turbine surge or stall the turbine needs fewer stages than the compressor mainly because the higher inlet temperature reduces the delta 
of the expansion process the blades have more curvature and the gas stream velocities are higher designer must however prevent the turbine blades and vanes from melting in a very high temperature and stress environment consequently blade air extracted from the compression system is often used to cool the turbine blades vanes internally other solution are improved material and or special insul insulating coating the disc must be specially shaped to withstand the huge stress imposed by the rotating blades they take the form of impulse reaction or combination impulse reaction shape improved materials help to keep the disc weight down exhaust nozzle the purpose of the exhaust nozzle is to increase the velocity of the exhaust gas before it discharge for large values of thrust the kinetic energy of the exhaust gas must be high which implies a high exhaust velocity the pressure ratio across the nozzle controls the expansion process and the maximum uninstalled thrust for a given engine is obtained when the exit pressure equals the ambient pressure which is called as an optimum expansion the basic function of the nozzles are first one is accelerate the flow to a high velocity with minimum total pressure loss second one is match exit and atmospheric pressure as closely as desired third one is permit after burner operation without affecting main engine operation fourth one is facilitate cooling of valves fifth one is mix core and bypass streams of turbofan to reduce the infrared signature if necessary in case of fighter aircraft sixth one is a law for thrust reversing to in ensure proper landing seventh one is suppress jet noise radar reflection eighth one is thrust vectoring so the basic type of nozzles used in jet engines are convergent divergent nozzles and the second one is convergent nozzle the convergent nozzle is is a simple convergent duct when the nozzle pressure ratio is low the convergent nozzle is used The convergent nozzle has generally been used in engines for subsonic aircraft. The second type is convergent divergent nozzle. The convergent divergent nozzle is a convergent duct followed by a divergent duct where the cross sectional area of the duct is at minimum. The nozzle is said to have a throat. Most convergent divergent nozzles used in aircraft are not simple duct but incorporate variable geometry and other aerodynamic features the convergent divergent nozzle is used if the nozzle pressure ratio is high higher performance engine is supersonic aircraft generally have some form of a convergent divergent nozzle 